Good morning from the garden. It's September the 3rd, it's Sunday, and I'm about to harvest some vegetables for us to cook with during the next few days. I will also be harvesting vegetables for our daughter, who has started college and she's home for the weekend, but she'll be leaving again tonight and she wants to take with her some fruits and vegetables from the garden so that she can cook uh, in the dorm because um, she's not really enjoying the cafeteria food. We have spoiled her with our homegrown organic produce. September is time of great abundance in the garden. There are so many things we can harvest at this moment. So let me show you around. One of everybody's favorite vegetables and a great one to grow yourself is sweet corn because the taste deteriorates quickly after harvest, it loses its sweetness. And I have grown three varieties this year, one in my Mexican polyculture and then one's already finished. But I have um, uh, another two, Dauman and Earl, Extra Early Sweet. And those two I sowed at the end of May so that they would be uh, ready for harvest when we come after we came back from our holiday. At this moment, the birds are beginning to eat them. So we're harvesting as much as we can to beat the birds to it. This is the last plant of our early bush tomato varieties. I had two varieties this year, Ida Gold and number 42, and we had a pretty good harvest. But as you can see, there's a lot of blight now and I have already taken out the other plants. This one will have to go too. But luckily, the tomatoes in the greenhouse are still producing. In the greenhouse, we have five different tomato varieties. Three red ones, which are uh, Marmande, Slava and Moneymaker. And those I use mostly for cooking. But for fresh eating, we all love the black cherry, which is very sweet and has also been very productive. Another very productive variety is this one, the yellow blonde Köpfchen. But this one is a little less sweet. But nevertheless, it's really nice to have the color combination in salads. There are also some eggplant fruits to harvest. This is a very funny looking one with the nose. And we have uh, red peppers. This is Jubilanska, the variety, and red chilies. I also always pick a bunch of basil and I'm thinking maybe uh, I can make a little jar of pesto for my daughter to take with her to the dorm. And we also have a cinnamon basil here that we like to make tea from. Uh, I'm, I'm here in my squash patch which is at the back part of the garden and that's a part of the garden that is planted as a food forest. We planted it mainly with fruit tree, uh, fruit bearing trees and fruit bearing bushes. And every year we cover a part of the ground, uh, a strip of the ground with cardboard to uh, uh, kill the perennial weeds. And uh, here we put cardboard on the ground and then a layer of wood chips. And in the future, this will be planted with perennial herbs and peren perennial vegetables. But now I am growing uh, winter and summer squash here. I have planted several varieties of zucchini. Here I have a classic black beauty variety, which is really good. But um, as with all summer squash, um, the younger the better. Here is another one. Uh, this is a very pretty round striped variety called piccolo. But um, these are with these, it's even more important to harvest them when young. And here behind me is a squash variety. It's spaghetti squash, different one than I grew last year. This one has smaller fruits uh, and I think that's handier in the kitchen actually. So I will, these are ready I think, so I will pick one or two so that we can try them this week. Here's Florence fennel and two different varieties of lettuce that I sowed on the third week of July, right before we went away on holiday. 
and I have replanted some of the lettuce plants for later pickings but I'm also just thinning the rows and we're eating the uh, thinnings as salad at the moment and the same goes for Florence fennel the young plants are delicious uh, raw if you saw my May garden tour video you saw me talking about this carrot bed which is a double raised bed. We made it um, taller than our other raised beds in the hope that it would deter carrot fly, which tends to fly quite low. And it seems to have worked quite well, not 100%. The plants are not, uh, the carrots are not 100% free of carrot fly, but they have done much better than carrots in our low um, normal raised beds. Look at that one. I picked a few more things, a big bunch of chard, a bunch of parsley from my sown polyculture and some spring onions. I like to use lots of those. More herbs like sage and lemon balm and anise hyssop. Those two we usually use for tea but I also add some lemon balm to salad sometimes. I have some tomatillos from the Mexican polyculture bed. I have the last of the cucumbers and a big bunch of zinnias for the vase. So this is what I will be using to cook with. There will be a little more on Tuesday when I go to the community garden. There are some other vegetables that we grow there. And I will be writing a post on my website growntocook.com a week of eating from the garden about all the dishes that we make this coming week so if you like check it out I will link to it below if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more gardening permaculture gardening tips from our garden happy gardening